Hello! Uh, welcome back to Amori. You're probably looking at this and you're going, full on. What, what am I looking at, dude? What am I looking at? And um, the answer is, well, I decided off camera I was going to do some of these side jobs to get some cash, right? Because I was like, they're not very interesting, right? I don't want to. I don't want to bore you guys with me swatting flies. I went and did the hardware one as well. You just rearrange the shelves. Nothing crazy. And then I went to the pizza place, and he was like, "Yo, here, uh, you're gonna deliver some pizzas. We don't have their addresses because they're regulars, so we stop recording their addresses because that's a smart move. Uh, but here, I'm gonna give you some notes for what their houses look like. I remember that. And then uh, this is what I was met with." So then I was like, all right, well now I gotta now I gotta turn the recording on and we gotta we gotta take a look at this. We gotta decipher this. So what I believe this says is that this pizza or no. Yeah, this pizza goes to the house with the ladder by the dog and the messy yard. The ladder by the no, is that, that's not dog. There's a ladder by something and a messy yard. All right, so we gotta, yo, can I? No, I take the bike to go back. Ladder, there's no ladder in that yard. And it's not very messy. Mm, there's a tether ball there. All right, this is kind of messy. I bet it's this one. This looks like a messy yard. Pizza delivery! How dare you bring pizza to my strictly vegan household? You should be ashamed. All right, well, it's not this one. That didn't go so well. You should find the right house. All right, goes to the house with the... Dude, I'm telling you, that's a ladder. Leo... And the messy yard. I mean, like, that's not a messy yard. Neither is this, though. This is a messy yard. He's got cans out here. This has got to be the messy yard, right? Pizza delivery! You are disturbing my quality time with myself. Leave it once! That didn't go so well. Alright, not the messy yard. Got it. Um... Okay, well, is it the tetherball place then? I'm just gonna go down to every house, man. Who cares? Pizza delivery! The stranger snatched the pizza. Jesus, guy. Okay. You have failed to deliver the pizza! It's time to move on to the next order. Oh, no. Dude, I got robbed! What am I supposed to do about that, man? Look for the house that has the mulch on the side of the yard and the, the hops? Mulch on the side of the yard. Okay, that should be easy, right? Mulch on the side of the yard. Yo, I ain't seeing no mulch, though. Hear me out. Um, Mulch on the side of the yard? What on earth? Dude, how is your handwriting so bad? Like, my handwriting is terrible. Don't get me wrong. Can I look at it again? Yeah, okay. Look for the house that has the mulch, M-U-L-C-H, on the side of the yard, and the hoops, and the hoops! It's gotta be this one! And the hoops! There's no fucking mulch, my guy! Pizza delivery! How dare you bring pizza- What do you mean?! There are hoops here! Come on, dude! And the hoops! What else is this? Where else are there hoops? I'm losing my mind. Am I going crazy? Or do I have to go to a different street? Is that a thing? You know, quit job, never mind. No, okay, so it's gotta be on this street. That has the mulch on the side of the yard and the hoops. There's only one with basketball hoops, my guy. There's no mulch, but I don't see mulch anywhere. What do you mean? I'm, I'm on the wrong street, I'm telling you. This isn't correct. Can I... 
Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so mad. I'm so mad. You can go further down the street. Oh my lord. Alright, alright, we've learned, we learned. Live and learn. Alright, that's a messy yard, that's probably what it is. I ain't seen any mulch. Mmm, that's a grill. Mulch? Boop. It's gotta be this one. It's gotta be this one. Pizza delivery? What took you so long? Gino's Pizza is really slipping these days. Got him. Against all odds, you have successfully delivered the pizza. It's time to move on to the next order. Now that I know that there's more than the initial four houses, this is easy. Because I thought I had to make concessions. All right. Can you find the house that has the roots in the yard and the something out front? I have no idea what that thing says out front. All right, so it's got roots in the yard. There are no roots in this yard. There are also no roots in this yard. Dude, you got enough friggin' toys in your yard? Clean up. There are roots in this yard. Oh, I bet it says for sale. Or for rent? I bet it's this one. I'm feeling confident. Pizza delivery. Nope, all right, incorrect. Sorry, sir. This is nonsense, all right? No one is ever that mad to have a pizza guy come to the wrong house. In fact, most people will probably just take it and be like, yeah, that's me, and just move on with their life, you know? I bet that's what would happen. I have never personally had a pizza delivery man come to the wrong house, uh, and it be my house. Um, I have ordered a pizza, and it's gone to the wrong house before, and I had to like call back and be like, yo, where's my pizza? And the something out front. I don't, it's, it's not stump, right? I, I don't know. Let's look for more root houses. We'll keep that one in mind. No roots. I mean, there is a root here. I wouldn't call it roots though, you know, like plural. Got a bunch of mulch. Dude, you got enough freaking toy cars? He's playing with his Hot Wheels. All right, so I guess it's this other one. No one else has roots, my dude. No other roots. Let's give it a shot. Pizza delivery. Delicious, delicious pizza. I'm coming for you, baby. All right, I got two out of three. That's all of them. It's time to head back to Gino's Pizza. Two out of three is good, right? Right? That's a 66%. That's a failing grade. Hey, newbie. You're just the guy I wanted to see. According to some recent feedback, it seems that your customer satisfaction rating is 5 out of 10. Anyway, here's some monies. Oh my god. Maybe you can use it to buy some pizza. Don't ever say monies. Like, unironically saying monies in a real conversation, that's, that, I hate it. 20 bucks? I got $10 of pizza? Since you've been such a good sport, here's another freebie. Oh, CD, I'm throwing it in the jukebox. It's one of my all-time favorite tunes. You can play it at the jukebox right down yonder. Dite round yonder is what I thought he was going to say for some reason. Hey, Sonny, how'd you do on your job? While you were working, I decided to sit on a bench and talk to strangers. Man, that was fun. Well, I'm ready to go when you are. All right, let's play this jam, dude. I would indeed like to donate my otherworldly CD to the jukebox. Can we pump it up? Let's play it. Yes, I would love to. I would like to play the otherworldly CD. Oh, well, there we go. It's going now. A little quiet, ambient mood music. Who made this one, Rai? I know this song. It's a cover of Stardust Diving by Sam Neeland. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know these people or that song. Ooh, I can dig it though. All right, I can dig it. So now we got some cash, baby. We got some cash. All right, 
And you know what I do when I get a fat paycheck? I go roll some gotcha. <laughs> what we got? Come on, baby. One star garbage. Get this trash out of here. Give me another one. Two star? All right. Bit better, bit better. I'll give it one more roll. The trend keeps going upward, right? Now I got it's got to be a three star now, right? Easy. Just that easy. Got the yellow slinky. Let's go. Just keeps on going. Is that an item? Probably not an important item. Is it like a toy? It's. I mean, slinkies aren't snacks. That's insanity. What does the yellow slinky do? Just, a, just nothing. It doesn't do anything, huh? Well. Dude, all of these do nothing. Is what I'm realizing. What do I have Kel equipped with? I might give him some cool shades or something. Oh no, I've got his pet rock! I can't unequip his pet rock. That'd be madness. Oh, can't I buy one, actually? 10 bucks? Yeah, I'll buy the pet rock. Excellent! You and your new pet rock are a good match. Take good care of it. You got a pet rock. Whoa! Uh, hold on a sec, Sonny! Is that a pet rock you just bought? Wow! I don't believe it! This is really strange since we haven't played since we were kids. But it just so happens that I have mine too! Right here! Such a weird coincidence, huh? Hey, I have an idea! Why don't we battle with our pet rocks? You still remember how to play, right? Uh, no, I do not remember, Kel. Please enlighten me. <laughs> don't worry. Even if you don't, it's really easy to catch on. You'll get in no time. Now let's clash! Oh, Jesus, Kel. Are you ready to clash? <laughs> Why is his pet rock so Chad? <laughs> Kel, you can't be dunking on me this hard. All right, all right. I like to start... Kel, for pet rock, I bet he's gonna go rock. So I'm gonna hit him with the paper. Oh, oh. Yeah, how'd I know? Genius. Massive brain strats. All right, now he's like, he just threw the paper, right? So I'm gonna throw scissors to counter his paper again. And I'm gonna hit him with the rock. Oh, oh okay, okay. All right, now here's the thing. He might be mind gaming me, but what if he just always throws rocks? So now we hit him with the paper again. I might have been conditioned here to throw paper. Nope, okay. Now here's the thing. What if I just keep throwing paper? Kel, do you understand that your rock can use more than just rock? I don't think you understand this, Kel. Um, you're getting comboed pretty hard. Not gonna lie. It's not looking good, brother. Yep, all right. Got him. <laughs> Oh shoot, I lost! I guess I'm pretty rusty. Well, that's okay. You were always the one who was good at video games anyway! We played with pet rocks! How is this a video game? What? Was this a- did we put our pet rocks into a machine? And it judged them to be those various sizes? I hate it. I guess you're the same old Sunny after all. I know it's been a while, so let me give you a refresher. Pet Rocks is a game where you and your pets team up and battle, or clash. If you wear your pet rock as a charm, you can find other players with pet rocks and challenge them. From what I hear, the reigning champ lives somewhere around here, but no one knows what they look like. Kind of mysterious, huh? Who knows? Maybe we'll get to meet them one day. All right, I'll keep that in mind. We'll, we'll, we'll hit up some pet rock challenges at some point. Um, I do want to spend a bit of my cash, though, to get just some more healing items. Because uh, I got a feeling I'm going to have to fight Aubrey and her scooter gang at some point. And man, I'm not too afraid of most of the scooter gang, but Aubrey terrifies me. She's strong as hell, and I'm going to need many bandages to deal with that. So I would like to buy, like, six of these. And then that should that should keep me good for now. That'll That'll keep me on the straight and narrow for when she fucking headbutts me or hits me with the goddamn nail bat. <laughs> so let's go. So we need to look for Basil. That is the that is our current objective. He was hanging out over here at the park. So let's see. 
What's going on back here? So we've got the janitor, the recycletist, smelly hobo. Anything else? Hmm. Man, where could Basil be? I don't see him anywhere. Somebody! Help! Sonny, did you hear that? I think that was Basil! Help me! <laughs> Please! Where's his voice coming from? Gotta be deeper in the forest, dude. Hold on a sec. I know this area! Basil's voice is coming from our old hangout spot! Um, you good, Kel? The entrance should still be around here somewhere! My- oh, okay. Um, got him. First try. It's just that easy. Oh, okay. Well, this is a little weird. The old lake is right up ahead! Let's hope we're not too late! I was gonna go back and save, but whatever. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. The puzzle... Yo, what the fuck is wrong with you all? Help me! Somebody! What the heck are you yelling for, Basil? You're making a scene! This place is our secret hangout spot. You can't be here because you weren't invited. Dang it, Basil, be quiet! Somebody's gonna find this place. Yeah, we're not trying to hurt you. We just want you to get out of here. Oh god, I'm gonna have to dunk on the whole gang. Hey, stop it! What are you doing to Basil? What the? Ugh. It's Cal and Sonny again. Why do you always show up? How'd you even find this place? Come on, Aubrey, we gotta defend our turf. I will absolutely send you to the Shadow Realm. If you dare, you can bully Kel. You can bully myself. You dare bully Basil? Oh, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I can only tolerate so much of this shit, Aubrey. Uh, Aubrey? Ugh. Go away, Kel. You're not welcome here. This is our spot. Oh, this is your spot now? Well, this used to be our old hangout spot. Wasn't it, Aubrey? Watch it or we'll mess you up. Fine. That's how it's going to be? Then at least stop bullying Basil. We weren't even doing anything to him. He just started screaming for no reason. Yeah, sure you weren't. Why should I believe you? We're telling the truth. Stop being such a self-righteous prick. Come on, guys. Let's make sure that this time these two... Let's make sure this is the last time these two mess with us. That sounds good to me. I'm right behind you, the Maverick. Aubrey, what are you gonna do? You gotta make a decision here. You absolute fool. Let's settle this, Kel. If you and Sonny are going to pick a fight with me and my friends, you got one. Come on, gang. Let's teach them a lesson. You buffoons. You absolute fool. Oh my god. Oh shit. Alright, this is a lot more intimidating now. <laughs> um, do I have to target them individually? No, okay, they're just one group, the hooligans. Then calm down. Next attack does more damage. X first. Um, hear me out. What if we focus? Kel, I would like for you to encourage Sunny. Just take a deep breath. All right, it's fine. You gotta, you gotta stay focused in these, in these fights. All right, we're good. We're good. We're fine. All right, we're boosting up. All right, Sunny, get him. Mess him up, dude. Kel can only have a guard as well. Hit him. Let's get him. Stop kicking the angel, you weirdo. 19? That's not a lot, my dude. Oh my god, even after all that, Sunny only hit for 13? We do no damage. Um, I got no items. Alright, Sunny, you're playing support now. Um, I would like for you to heal Kel while Kel does the real damage. Um, oh my god. 
All right, you're on bandage duty. You're gonna be throwing out band-aids. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be rough, dude. <laughs> I'm glad I bought a bunch of band-aids, man. Jesus, we're getting the shit beat out of us. But we heal more than we take. That's what's important, all right? As long as we're healing, well, to a point. Um, the problem is I don't think I do enough damage to make it through this. Oh, hear me out, though. Hear me out, right? Big brain strat coming through. Big brain strat. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna do another heal on Kel. Kel, what if you guard? They don't attack me. They only attack Kel. All right, guarding didn't really help you that much. I thought that it would, like, significantly reduce damage. But it didn't really seem to do that. Kel could spend his own turns healing, but, eh. Well, let's just keep it keep it going, I guess. Um, oh god, now they're hitting both of us. Dude, old candy did so much damage. What the fuck? Hello? Alright, we're getting there, we're getting there, we're doing we're doing some damage. We've got him down a quarter. Getting my ass beat. Holy shit, dude. We can afford to do a normal attack here. Aw oh, fuck. Kel is my damage dealer. He still did 13 after the debuff. Sonny's attack did nothing! Nothing! Are you insane? Alright, well, I mean, you might as well focus, I guess, and Kel just keep slapping. I suppose. God, Sonny, you're, we're, we're, not, we're not too strong without our knife. Let me tell you, man. Good whiff on the attack. We needed that. My master and I have been training for this moment. You won't make the fools out of us ever again. Kim, you ready to rumble? Why are you here? We're here to defend Basil from you freaking weirdos. That's what we're trying to do. Oh my god, Kim, why you hit so hard? I think Kel is dead, actually. If he takes another one of those, no, he can guard, he can guard. All right, Kel, you're gonna get hit with another bandage and then I'm gonna need you to guard so that you don't die. Please do not die. Okay, good. They went slow this turn. Well, all right. Debuff, but whatever. Uh, I think I lose this. Because, I mean, I'm just going to run out of bandages at some point. And, yeah, I mean, I don't... I don't do anything. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to keep going. Maybe there's, like, a certain damage threshold I just have to get to. Hopefully this isn't like you have to lose and I just spend all my bandages for nothing. I'm not entirely sure. We're gonna find out. Maybe you have to just win it. Maybe I need to go find ways to get stronger. That, that's also a possibility. You know? Could be. Who's to say I gotta go I gotta go grind pet rock battles to become uh, strong enough to take on the hooligans. Ugh. Kel does like no damage now and it feels so bad. Uh, uh, really can't do much here, my dude. His attacks do nothing on normal. So might as well just focus and try and push some damage. I might, yeah. Because it's clear I'm going to run out of first aid here soon. So I might just see what happens if I lose. And we'll just... Yeah, because Kel doesn't do any damage now, so... You know what? Encourage Sunny. Before you die horribly. Get him. Can I just like encourage Sunny forever and boost his damage out the roof? That'd be pretty cool. Go ahead and focus. Cal, you're gonna do another encourage. Though I don't think you're gonna live to see it. But it is what it is. Maybe that's the strat. We just encourage Sunny so much and he one-shots him. That'd be pretty Oh, look at look at the knocked out Cal. Oh. Oh, yep, there I go. <sighs> Is... Is this real life? We won, Master! We won! Serves you right, nerds. Kim, I'm hungry. Let's go get some food. Huh. Kel. Sunny. Get the heck out of here. Okay, I think I was supposed to lose this. Oh, we really did it! The evil foes have been defeated!
Dang. Sorry, Sonny. Why did I think we could take on six people at once? Even if they're a bunch of dweebs. It's over, Kel. Leave this place. You don't belong here anymore. No. I won't. I can't just leave here knowing that this is the person you've become. I mean... What would Mari think? Oh, that was yikes. That's a yikes move there, brother. Why do you keep bringing her up? Do I have to keep saying it? Mari is already dead. Can you stop with that? And while you're at it, drop the tough guy act too. I don't believe you when you say you don't care about us anymore. You have all your new friends now, but you're still hanging out at our old hangout spot. Do I really have to spell it out for you? Don't listen to him, Aubrey. He's just spouting crap like usual. Right, Aubrey? Hmm. <sighs> this isn't fun anymore. I want to go home. Let's get out of here. You said it. Oh, they're going to scooter on out of here? Yeah, get out, losers. See ya. Nope, skedaddle. You coming, Aubrey? No. Oh. Okay. Uh, catch you later, then. Aubrey. Ugh. Ah! Why? Why do you guys keep coming back? I just want you to leave me alone. Sonny, why? Why did you show up now? We just want you to stop messing with Basil. What's your deal with him all of a sudden? You used to be friends. We all used to be. You think I'm the bully, but you're all messed up too. Where were you when Mari died? Where were any of you? Oh, uh, uh, leave him alone? Oh, absolutely not. And you! You're the worst, Basil. How dare you still show your face to me after what you did? Aubrey, I... Get away from me! Jesus, girl, what the fuck, dude? Shoot. What the heck, Aubrey? What are you doing? You've taken this way too far. W wait, hold on. I I didn't mean to... Th Sonny, don't worry about Aubrey. I'll keep her busy. Just go help Basil. I can't. I can't swim, dude. You know I can't swim. I'm terrified of it. Do you want to save Basil? Yeah, I do. Can I save Basil? That I don't know. You gotta be concerned, because he didn't come back up, man. We gotta try and save him, but I can't fucking swim. Like, I'm just gonna die too, I guess. But you know what? If I gotta go, I'll go trying to save my friend. Oh, we're back in the back home, huh? Door locked. What about the bathroom door? Yep, also locked. Fair enough. Um, I appear to be back in my mind palace. My fear of water. Reasonable fear, I do. I do. I will say. I mean, most of these fears are very reasonable. Oh, hello. How are you today? Other me? Are you gonna... What's going on here? Oh, you are not other me. You had very long hair, it appears. Oh, okay. And then, yeah, I can't go up, so... Can't sprint either. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and follow you, but I think I'm drowning is what's happening right now, trying to save Basil. Yeah. Oh, you're coming towards me? Hello. Nope. Okay, not yet. We're a little bit closer though, but not not quite yet. I do really like the music that's playing right now. It's very soothing. Um, as these horrible tendrils come towards me, I'm not a fan anymore. 
It's a Kraken? Can we not? Alright, well. Oh my fucking god. I don't want it. No, I don't want this knife. I refuse to pick it up. You can't make me. You can't make me. I'm not gonna do it. Nope, I can't go any other direction. <sighs> Alright. Don't do it. Don't you fucking do it. I'm gonna be so mad. Oh my god, that's horrific, truth be told. Whoa! Something drags you down. Took 40 damage, Jesus. Um, well, I cannot focus. I would like to calm down. That is step number one. Always just calm down. Take a deep breath. Center yourself. Ground yourself, right? Everything's fine. And then, I would like to focus. Gonna be okay. Just go through your, your steps, you know? Do what you gotta do. Something listens to Sunny struggle. Steady your heartbeat. Don't be afraid. It's not as scary as you think. Now. Now that I've calmed down and focused, I would like to attack. Something listens to Sunny struggle. Well, my attack does nothing. You have to keep going. Don't give up. No matter how impossible it seems. You reach out to the voice and remember how to persist. Alright, I would like to persist. Heart cannot reach zero for one turn. That's pretty sweet. I mean, I can just do this forever. Sunny is the greatest tank in the world. Sunny persists. What are you going to do about this? What will Sunny do? Uh, Sunny will attack. The Slender Man. Yeah, whatever. Where it pulls me in different directions. Eight damage. Alright, my attack did nothing. Worth a shot, at least. Um, I would like to continue persisting. What are you going to do about this, huh? Can't stop me. I'm tenacious. Get persistent. Oh, we're closer to the edge now. This is actually kind of freaking me out, I'm not gonna lie. I don't like this camera angle. It feels like I'm going through, like, memories almost in this, like, point of view perspective, right? Going up to the water. Now I'm gonna be in the water, I take it? No? Yep, okay. Look, we're, we're, we're good. We're fine. Someone's, someone's gonna help us, see? Hello. I take it you're Mari? But, like, not really, obviously, because real Mari is deceased, but... Like a, like a figment of my imagination? Oh. Kel? Hero! Let's go, dude! Hey, buddy! How are you doing? You made it just in time, my man. Things were getting real ugly. Hmm... It looks like Basil's breathing is steady. But we need to get him somewhere warm, quickly. It just picks him up. Yeah, he's had a rough day. Let's get him home as soon as possible. Wait! Where do you think you're all going? That's enough! Don't you think you've caused enough trouble? Come on, guys, we gotta go! He's kinda right. It looks like Basil's breathing is steady, but we should bring him back home as soon as we can. No, I... This is where... Alright. Every time the full-on real-world talk... The real world situation, if I was actually in this position right now, what you do is I would go, hey, Kel, hey, Hero, take, you guys make sure Basil's okay. All right, you guys go take him home, make sure he's all right, give him anything he needs, I'll catch up with you later, and I gotta talk to Aubrey, right? Like, you don't leave Aubrey alone in this situation. That's just not good, because it's clear that something's wrong, right? It's so incredibly obvious that she is struggling, 
And I don't fully understand the whole picture. I kind of get it that where, like, she feels abandoned, right? She feels like after Mari died, nobody helped her with anything. And what we're doing right now is we're not helping that situation. We are abandoning her further. Yes, she made some mistakes and that she, like, is lashing out. But ultimately, she's just going to keep lashing out if all you do is every time she does anything, she gets the same reaction. Because that's going to basically develop this mentality of, it doesn't matter what I do. Right? It doesn't matter what, what choice I make. I'm going to get treated the same either way. So why don't I go ahead and do the bad choice? Be the villain. Right? It doesn't matter. So this is where we stop. We split up. We say, I slap the... I, I keep talking with my hands too much. I slap the freaking microphone cord. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I don't know. Um, I hope not, because that would be horrific. But yeah, this is where we split up. We have two of you, you know, heroes learning to be a doctor, right? And he thinks Basil's going to be fine, but he's still going to need some emotional support and some help. So Cal and Hero, you go, you guys go help Basil, whereas I would try and talk to Aubrey and figure out what's going on. Now, of course, in this actual, in the game's perspective, Sunny doesn't really do that. Like, it's not really a thing he does. Uh, we're not very talkative. We're not, you know, very social understanding. We have our own problems to work through. So maybe this would be like Hero and maybe like Kel and Sunny go take care of Basil while Hero tries to figure out what's going on with Aubrey. Someone needs to spend some time with Aubrey and really sit with her and talk with her about, hey, what is actually happening? What are you feeling? You know, like, what? please just say how it is you feel. We need to work through this because it's, it's clear that something's not working, but... Game's only going to let me leave her alone. I really think that's a bad idea. It's just going to perpetuate this and make it worse the next time. Again, got to do what I got to do, though. Basil is important. He's going to be fine, right? But we still need to look for him. Or look after him, I should say. Look for him. As if he's lost. He's literally in Hero's arms. Well, let's take him home, then. Come on, guys. I'm glad to have Hero back, though. Oh, this is the wrong way. He's down a street, I think, right? Yeah, it's like down here. And then to the right? Yep. And it's the house with all the flowers. Um, your caregiver's gonna be pissed. Basil! What happened? Is he okay? His breathing is stable. He just needs a change of clothes and a warm bed. Okay, I can do that. Quick, come inside. Can you help me bring him to his room? Sure thing. What a dependable man, that hero. <sighs> it was intense. I hope Basil wakes up soon. Well, now we now we look around, I suppose. Nothing going on on the TV. Bunch of books. Most of them are about gardening and indoor plant care. Flowers. Hmm. What you got in the fridge? I would love to open it. What's the what's for dinner tonight? Cabbage, carrots, mushrooms, and tofu. Oh. The uh the freaking sprout moles would love it. Alright, well, let's uh Hmm. Let's go check on his mother. How are you doing, ma'am? Oh, his grandmother, excuse me. Basil's grandmother is breathing steadily. A wheelchair. Alright, well, I mean, she's she's doing alright, I suppose. Anything horrifying? Nope. Okay, just me in the mirror. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. Now we'll go check on Basil. Hey, Kel. Hey, Sonny. It looks like Basil's gonna be just fine. I heard from Mom that Basil was missing and that you two went looking for him. When I was running around the park, I heard some commotion coming from our hangout spot. I guess I got there right in the nick of time. So, what was happening back there? Aubrey... She pushed Basil into the lake! What? That was Aubrey back there? No way. She wouldn't do that to Basil. I'm sure there was some kind of misunderstanding. She's not the same anymore, Hero! She's become all messed up after you left for college! Aubrey... What happened while I was gone? Maybe I should never have left. It's not your fault that this happened! Things could have gotten a lot worse if you didn't show up! You 
you've done all you can. Come on. Let's go home. Oh, Hero's a part of the party. Hero, please tell me you have heavy heal skill. First aid, let's go. What a dude. He's learning. He's learning good stuff in college. <laughs> oh, I feel bad that I burnt all those bandages for nothing, but whatever. It was not that big a deal. It's like 10 bucks, whatever. You know, Sonny, you two were pretty awesome, or you were pretty awesome back there. Jumping into the lake to save Basil like that? Even if Hero ended up saving the day, I think you deserve some recognition too. How about a high five? Yes, I would love to high five Kel. Absolutely. What a dude! That's my bro. Now we now we move on. See, even even in these situations, right? Kel, he's trying his best to look out for Sunny. And he's trying his best to look out for everyone. And that's why I'm so concerned for him. Oh, Kel lives at my house. Or not at my house, but next door. And that's why I'm concerned, is that I hope that he's taking care of himself, right? Which I'm not sure is the case. Oh, hello. Sensing an evil presence coming from inside my home. Maybe I'm overthinking it. But I can never be too careful. Can I just go inside your house? <laughs> Yup. Oh, Lord. Um. Uh. <laughs> a holy book. Alright. <laughs> I'm very sorry, but if this is the first thing I see when I walk into your home, it's just a bunch of chairs lined up in front of, like, a little table with a Bible that is supposed to be your living room, I don't care why I'm here. I don't care why you invited me. I don't care what is going on, what our relationship is. I'm turning around. This is some scary shit. <laughs> this is some creepy shit right here. I'm turning around and we're never speaking again. Um, I have a little bit of a, of a religious background. I went to a, a, to a religious school at one point and I didn't see anybody who had anything this intense. All right, like no one, no one was this, oh my Lord, all right. Can I just go in your room? Uh... He hello? Cardboard cutouts of a pair of twins! There's something stuck on the back. What's on the back? You find a note. It seems we have gone missing. We couldn't have gotten too far. Find us, dear little brother. Signed, Daphne and Bowen, your loving older sister. <laughs> older siblings. Okay. What is going... Hello. Oh, it's a, it's a debate! You turn over the rug and find two fluffy pillows. There's a note on the back. This is the oldest trick in the book. I can't believe you would actually fall for this. Signed, Daphne and Bowen, your loving older siblings. You in the bathroom? Mmm, you in like the hamper? Nope. Alright, just making sure. Oh, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Check the mirror. I would like to look in the mirror. Nope, I'm not allowed. Alright. Are you in this room? Mmm, doesn't look like it. You under the covers? You looked under the bed, but you did not find anything of interest. What if they were hiding in their room the whole time? Right? Like under their beds. Looked under the bed, you did not find anything of interest. How about in this one? Nope. In these closets? Cabinet doors? Nothing. Also nothing. What if they are the cardboard cutouts? Okay, it's same note on the back. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, where did, where did you get these cardboard cutouts of yourself? Like that's kind of weird, man. Oh my god, um, oddly placed rolling chair. Looks as though it's been dramatically pushed out of the way. You under my bed, and by my bed I mean the Mavericks. Boo! <laughs> we got you good, didn't we? Hey, wait a second. You're not our dar darling little brother. Hmm. Hmm. Our little brother is too cool for us now, isn't he, Bowen? He doesn't even have time to play games with his loving older siblings anymore. Yes, Daphne. It is very... regrettable. Oh, This is really sad, actually. <sighs> We barely get any time off work. 
And when we do, little Mikhail is never around to play with us anymore. It's unfair, isn't it, Bowen? Life is so cruel. Well, that's fine. Now we have some new friends. Though, I'm not exactly sure what they do. Entertain us, dear friends! Yes, entertain us! Alright, um, what would you like me to do? Oh, hum. You've got nothing? That's too bad. Well, this was all very fun, but we get bored quite easily. Come, brother. Let us think of more fun games to play. Goodbye, new friends. This has been pleasant. Okay. I mean, a little bit of an odd interaction, but not, you know, harmful. Right? They're nice people. Can I go talk to them in their room? Seem reasonable enough, you know? Hello. Our family has owned a bakery for four generations, but our dear little brother has sworn off bread since he was only six years old. Though, I'm sure he'll come around eventually. Mom and Dad want us to take over the bakery when we get out of school. So what's the point of going to school? Uh, that's a, that's a terrifying prospect. You should go to school. School is very important. Um, it will teach you many, many life lessons, and if not life lessons, social lessons. Hey, Mikhail, your home's fine. Ah, so you've conquered the great evil. What did it cost you? I can still see the pain in your eyes. <sighs> My brother and sister are a real drag, aren't they? Everyone here is the same. Oh, poor guy. Feel bad for you, Mikhail. Well, let's go pet. Oh, what's going on with the doghouse? Do you want to play with Hector? Yes, I do. How did you know? I would love to play with Hector. I'll pick up the ball. I'm going to throw it. Give, give, give me the ball. Come on, give me the ball. I want to throw it. No, Kel's going to throw it. Give him a pet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good throw, good throw, good good fetch. All right, we're doing good. Give another pet. I mean, me and Hero just chatting, watching Kel play fetch with Hector. I mean, that's fair. All right. Thank you, Hector, for that. I appreciate it. You have a lovely day. Hello. Jesus, that was quick. Kel! Hero! Where have you two been? It's so late, I've been worried sick! Sorry, Mom. We got held up. But the good news is we found Basil and he's safe. Hmm. I'll have you know, I spent all week preparing the chicken roast for tonight's dinner. And... It's gotten cold. Oh, Mom. Please don't cry. Don't worry, Mom! That's what microwaves are for! He's right, though. Like, my man's is right. Oh! My poor dinner! There, there, honey. Cheer up. Today's a special day. There's no need to be sad. Look! Hero's back from college! It's good to see you back, champ. Thanks, Dad. Oh, your dad is right. This is no time for sniffles. It's good to see you back, Hero. We've all missed you so much. <laughs> um, what? Oh, that's the baby! The baby's crying! Uh, it sounds like Sally's awake. I'll go get her. Come on, boys. You must be hungry. Go on and help yourself to dinner. Oh, are you going as well? Okay, you're not gonna help with the baby? Sure. <laughs> cool! Let's go grab some food and heat it up! Alright, let's go get some dinner. Is it gonna be in the kitchen, I presume? Um, is it in the pot? Pots and pans? Just get or is it- it might be laid out on the table. Yep, oh my god, that thing is massive! Jesus! Look at the size of the sandwich, dude! <laughs> oh, it's, it's all the sandwiches, that's right. Look, Hero, we got your favorites! Some chocolate chip cookies and a big ol' hero sandwich! Oh, how sweet. It's exactly the same as last year. Oh, 
Oh, Hero. Hero wants to move on. This is kind of sad. <laughs> but he doesn't know how to say it. I offered to help your mom cook dinner for tonight, but you know how she is in the kitchen. Make sure to tell her how good her food tastes. Sorry, the, the squeak freaked me out a little bit there, not gonna lie. You got a home-cooked meal, but it's cold. You can heat it up using the microwave. I'm just gonna put the whole roast turkey in there, or roast chicken. Whew. Now that everything's calmed down, we can finally relax a bit. It's so good to see you again, Sunny. It really has been way too long. Oh, and it's good to see you two again, Kel. Or you again too, Kel. Whatever, same thing. So, Sunny, I heard from Mom that you're moving away soon. That sounds so exciting. Yeah, he is. Tomorrow's gonna be his last day with us. But pay attention to your brother, Hero. Come on! No, 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 I'm putting the brakes on this, all right? This is where it's like, you come back from college, Kel wants to spend time with you, right? I get it, you know, I'm moving, you wanna, it's been a while since you've seen Sunny, but you can't just ignore Kel like that, you gotta be open to everyone. Social cues, my dude! Kel wants attention! He wants to be talked to, all right? Like, come on, man. You can't just exclude him like this. Moving might seem kind of nerve-wracking now, but it really isn't so bad once you get used to it. I think it'd be good for you, Sonny. You learn a lot moving to a new place, and it's nice to have a fresh start. I'm a little sad to see you go, but it'll be okay as long as we keep in touch. Oh, Kel. <sighs> we sure did have a lot of memories together. Sometimes I miss those days. Lazing around, eating food, drinking juice. Yeah, we did everything together. We went to the park, the lake, the beach. But honestly, what I miss most is hanging out at your place, Sonny. You guys had everything. A big TV, all the newest toys, a grand piano. And of course, our very own treehouse. Oh yeah, the treehouse was awesome! I wonder if it's still there. Is it, Sunny? Oh, food's ready. Looks like the food's- or, whoa, that's Hero, whew. Looks like the food's done. Let's eat in the living room. We can continue chatting there. Why don't we eat in the dining room with your father and catch up with him? Come on! What the heck? We're just gonna leave your dad alone in the, in the living- or in the dining room? Okay. Oh, by the way, Hero? Uh, Basil gave Sonny his photo album yesterday. Do you want to see it? You have Basil's photo album on you? Uh, sure, let's look through the album while we eat dinner. Um... Mmm, kind of spooky, but it is what it is. Alright, well, uh, you know what? Let's go through them again. My first photo. It's my best friend Sonny trying out his new violin. He's starting to take lessons again so we can play at recitals with his sister Mari. So exciting. Just Kel being Kel. So many party hats. Sunny playing a video game on the couch. Sunny's a little shy, but he's a really good listener. I always end up venting to him when I get upset or stressed. Sometimes I feel like I'm bothering him, but he never seems to mind. We're back from the park, but Kel is still full of energy. He challenged Hero to an arm wrestling match, but we all know who's going to win. Please go easy on him, Hero. <laughs> Oof. Sorry, Kel. Better luck next time. <laughs> I still love this photo so much. <laughs> Kel was still feeling a little sour about losing to Hero in an arm wrestling match last night, so Hero decided to lean in for a smooch. Kel looks so annoyed. Ah, uh, brotherly love. Me showing Sunny the book I've been reading. Mari stole my camera and took this when I wasn't paying attention. I should really keep better track of my things. Oh, It's all of us cuddling with Sunny's stuffed animals. He has so many, and they're all so soft. I wish I could just lay here forever. Yo, there's bangs down there! Wait a minute, these are the- these are in my mind palace! They're my stuffed animals! The people turned into my- the stuffed animals became personified. I understand now. 
Mari's teaching everyone how to make flower crowns. Here's Sunny and Kel holding Mari's example. It looks perfect, doesn't it? If only Mari saw, thought so too. The hero's still making his flower crown. It's taking him a little while, but he's getting there. You have to admire his persistence. It's raining super hard today. The rain always seems to come out of nowhere during springtime. Aubrey asked me to take a picture of her with her new raincoat. It's her favorite color, pink. <laughs> there he is, eating the rain, my dude. Aubrey won't let Kel under the umbrella, but Kel seems to be taking it just fine. He says he likes how the rain tastes. Classic. Just Kel being Kel again. We went to Hobbies, but the shop owner told Kel to leave his jacket outside since Kel was getting all his comics wet. Sorry, shopkeep. It's been pretty I've it's been pretty busy with school lately, but we finally made time to get together and go to the park today. Here's Kel hanging by his legs off a tree. He's such a good climber. I wish I was as fearless as him. It's the first day of summer vacation, so we all wanted to celebrate by going to the beach. Watermelon is Aubrey's favorite. Kel cooling off with some refreshing orange Joe. I shouldn't get too close or he might get my camera wet. Kel's known to spill his drinks. Yeah, he spilled it on the carpet and then he ran away. Come on, Kel, what are you doing, dude? I remember now from the library. We buried Sunny in the sand. It took forever, but he looks like he's enjoying himself. I wonder if he's gonna need help getting out. I guess I'll keep him company until then. Yay, Sunny's turning 12 today. Even though me, Sunny, Aubrey, and Kel are in the same school year, Sunny's younger than all of us. He's the baby of the group, so we have to take care of him. Why in the big box? Sunny holding a super huge present from Mari and Hiro. Wonder what it is. <laughs> and hanging out with Miwo in the box! You can't really tell from the photo, but Mari and Hiro got Sunny a giant building block set. Sunny seems much more interested in the box, though. He acts just like Mari's new kitten, Miwo! Oh no, Miwo looks pissed, dude. I don't know if I noticed that last time. <laughs> We're strangling him, no! Sunny won't leave the box, so Kel put a food bowl inside. I guess this box will be Sunny and Miwo's new home. We're going beetle catching today. Here's Kel, ready to pounce on his next victim. Oh, and Sunny is there too. He looks kind of sleepy. <laughs> Kel's selfie. Went to the bathroom and came back to this photo. Kel says he took a picture of himself on accident, but I don't believe him. It's the first day of school today. Me, Sunny, Kel, and Aubrey are up bright and early. Aubrey's so photogenic. Uh, goodbye, Summer. Until next year. Alright, that's that, I guess. Uh, Hero's probably gonna comment on all the missing pages. Oh, excuse me. I wish I could read the text here, but oh well. Are you done looking at the photo album? I am, thank you very much. It's too bad that some of the photos are missing. Aubrey stole the album from Basil, but we got it back. Maybe she has the rest of the photos. Uh, oh no. Hero, you good? Hey, Hero, what's up? Are you okay? Yeah, it's just that, well, all the photos of Mari are missing, yeah. Mari isn't in any of these photos. Oh, you're right, she isn't. <sighs> Still, this album really brings back some good memories. Things were a lot simpler when we were all kids. <laughs> Sunny, I have a favor to ask. Do you think you could let us see your home one more time before you leave? Oh, that's a good idea! But you've got to convince Mom first. She's probably going to be kind of mad about you not spending enough time with her and stuff. You know how she is. Oh, The baby! Hello, Sally. Oh, what a mess that was! Sally made a little doo-doo, but she's all clean now. Whee! 
I don't know how it, I've never- I haven't really interacted with babies a lot. I don't know what sounds they make. <laughs> Truth be told. <laughs> hey there, Sally! Peekaboo! Oh, she cried. Stop it, Kel! You're scaring her! <laughs> so, uh... Hey, Mom? We were wondering if we could go hang out at Sonny's house today, since he's moving away soon. Oh? But you just came back! And it's already so late! What about spending time with your mom? I'm gonna be here for the rest of summer, and Sonny's leaving the day after tomorrow. We have plenty of time to catch up. I think it's okay for Hero to spend some time with Kel and Sonny. I haven't seen Sonny around for a long time now. It's been a while since the boys had a chance to hang out. I say we should let him. <sighs> Fine then. You boys can have your fun. But Hero has to wash the dishes with me for the next week. Sh sure I guess I can do that. Hmm. All right, you're free to go. Come on, Sally. Let's leave your mean old brothers alone. They don't want anything to do with us, do they, Sally? Oh, Mom. Hello. Don't fret about your mom too much, Hero. She just misses you, that's all. She'll feel better after she calms down. You guys go off and do your thing. I'll make sure she's okay. Kel's dad? What a champ. Kel and Hero's dad, I should say. What an absolute champ. And see, you know, I talked about this in another episode. I don't remember when, but you know what? Hero came up and he was like, hey, you mind if we go hang out with Sonny? You know, he's moving in like two days. I want to spend some time with him before he's gone. I'm going to be here all summer, right? He came with a plan and it worked out. Just formulate a plan. You gotta, it, it's not like he was just like, we wanna hang out with Sonny, cause screw you, mom. Like, he came out with a plan with logic and facts, and it worked out. I'm telling you, it works. Hey, so I'm really glad that we get to hang out and everything, but I also feel pretty bad for leaving mom all alone. Before we head to your house, let's go to fix it and get some flowers for her. I know she'd really appreciate that. Oh, hero. Always a mama's boy. <laughs> it's pretty cute. But anyway, that's where this episode is unfortunately going to end. A little bit longer. I went through the photo album again. I wasn't sure if there'd be anything new or like any conversation. I wanted. I didn't want to skip anything, right? Or potentially miss anything. Anyways, as always, there's a link in the description if you want to pick up the game for yourself. Check it out. Have a good time. All that cool jazz, right? Right down there, just scroll down a little bit. And as always, as always, as always, as always, because all I know how to say is as always, apparently, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. That's all. No more rambling. Ha ha ha, joke's on you, and I will catch you next time. Bye bye <laughs>